Today, almost a billion people uh, live in slums worldwide. They're expected to still almost double or triple in the next few decades. So how can we turn this challenge into an opportunity? I'm interested in informal settlements because it is the global issue of the 21st century. The scale of the problem is enormous. We need to build a great number of housing units, but how do we do that? I think the government has no choice. They have to embrace informality and include it. With every person comes a brain, comes an idea or a series of ideas. In informal settlements, people are the most innovative. The real city is an integration between the formal and informal. I think they'll be more integrated when we realize that favelas are here to stay. A slum is part of the city. They are catalysts for development. All we need to do is a mindset shift. This workshop was about new ideas about how that transformation can be achieved. Uh, the seminar was about the city, but I think I looked at the larger macro picture. I spoke about economic issues that apply to architects, urbanization. The role of the community in architecture. The community is the driving motor in the future. My seminar was about my 50 years of research in the favelas of Rio de Janeiro. Then the students were asked to synthesize those ideas and create some projects. We start thinking about how we could come up with something that could have the potential of reaching as many people and as fast as possible. The best thing we can give people is knowledge, information. There's already so much information going on in the slums. The thing is that there's a lack of sharing of knowledge. So they thought of creating essentially a peer-to-peer -peer network. An online tutorial platform to actually um, connect all the slum dwellers. We want everyone's voice to be heard and everyone's idea to be seen. To share like the construction knowledge that they have. Build a wall, build a building, build a new source of lighting. So the project that we've developed this week is how do you marry social and physical infrastructure? So they had this idea of creating a public space that was a hub to continue to grow and that these would form something called an Agora Web. Decentralized services. A combination of the use of technology as well as working with the community. It's like a spatial consideration of what the actual backbone of the city is like. I feel empowered to carry on working on informal settlements. Well, the students were wonderful. It's an extraordinarily bright and engaging group. I love working with them and I look forward to staying in touch with them. The city of the future will look a little bit like the city of the present. Just, it'll be a lot more competitive. Will it be inclusive? Where the citizens have a voice. And integrates everyone and allows every single urban resident to live a happy, healthy life. Oh, an advice to the younger people, Whoa, wow. Be free. Ask the questions that you never thought you'd be asking. To be resilient, to keep pushing. Dream. Believe those dreams. Follow your passion. Shape the future. Go with your heart and your own talents. I think most importantly, dream.